Zero FXB. Uh, yeah, I've built lots of stuff over the years. So I just thought we'd quickly go through the Bluetooth menu selections. So for Bluetooth, you go menu, then go to set with the middle toggle. Go a bit closer. So scroll all the way to the bottom and you've got Bluetooth set. Go to the top and we'll just start off one at a time. So Bluetooth to turn on and off. Auto connect, you can turn that on and off. Pairing and connect, that's the items. When it searches that it's found, you can select the one that it has found. These are previous items. Just go down, choose the one you want and it will and select connect. Now I haven't got the device near me, but we'll select one anyway. We'll click connect. Who knows, it might be near enough. See how that works. Pairing reception. So what it does, it's ready now. It's looking for a Bluetooth signal from another device. Um, and when you get it, it will come, it will say on this device, here's the code. And on the other device, here's the code. And it will say click connect when it finds something back. Headset set. Now I haven't used this. So there's quite a few functions here for headset. AF output, headset or headset and speaker. Headset function select. Normal microphone and PTT. So it's all to do with Bluetooth headsets, isn't it? Auto disconnect after a certain amount of seconds. Receive priority setting. LE device. DV fast, RX audio and main band. Don't know what that is. Vox, yeah, Vox level, Vox settings. Icom headset, power save, one touch, PTT beep, custom key beep and custom key. And there's a setting for each of them. So that's it really. So um, yeah, just thought I'd show you that. That's the Bluetooth settings on the Icom ID52. Please like and subscribe my channel if you find this helpful. 7-3, all the best.